Hello everyone, welcome to Jungix channel. For today's video, I am here in Gubin, Poland. Join me in this travel video as we are going to discover one of the beautiful towns here in Poland. Gubin is a town in the western part of Poland. Gubin is on the right bank of the Lusatia Nysi River at the border with Germany. The rail and road border crossings are connected with German town of Gubin, of which Gubin was the central and eastern part until the division of the city by the Oda Nysi Line in 1945. In the heart of the town is a beautiful park with a fountain where citizens can hang out. Even though most of the big buildings in the town are old, it is still beautiful to look at and has been continuously appreciated by the people of Gubin. Gubin, as I have observed, is a developing community. They may not have much tall infrastructures, but there are plenty of goods. There are restaurants and shopping areas dedicated to citizens of Gubin and to those who who want to visit their beautiful community. Their road is not very wide and motorists have respects for pedestrians. Even if the traffic system in the area is not well advanced, accidents can still be avoided because every motorist considers the safety and well-being of every person on the road. We can see in this video that their community is a clean and an organized community. As I stroll around the area, I saw a beautiful tower in the middle of the street. The tower is an old and an added attraction to the place. In the distance, there are these establishments of the residents such as pharmacy and flower sellers. The tower also has an adjacent wall made of bricks which is an additional thing that enhances the whole scenario. I was amazed by that tower. I am thankful because even after a long time, I could still see it because of the effort of the people of Gubin that they continued to take care of it and made it a good memory of the past. Located in the western part of the market, the town hall blends well with the surrounding ruins of the parish church. Over the years, the town hall was rebuilt several times, and today you can also see a restaurant in the town hall. The town and main church was destroyed during the fighting for Neisestadt from February to April 1945. Since then, its walls and towers have risen into the sky as ruins. It thus shared the fate of the churches on the Oda Nysi border. This church is really very tall. When you enter the border of Gubin, a few meters away, you can already see the church. Up close, you will really be wowed by how beautiful it is. And I hope that this church will be given a chance to be restored in its original appearance. The church has been made a roots for pigeons that when they hear a loud noise, they fly all together and it's very beautiful to see. There are many foreigners in the area taking pictures in the church. The surroundings and the grounds of the church is being made as a parking area and there is also a park nearby. I really find the surroundings of Gubin very nice to see with its beautiful designs of their infrastructures and vast green environment, it is so relaxing to go for a walk. This church stands on an elevated area. There are two ways to enter the church. The first one can be accessed using stairs and the second one is near the road itself. The church is not that big but its bell tower is one of the tallest towers in Gubin area. The city can be seen from the church. Around the church, we can see a grotto and a cross. This church plays a huge part in the history of Gubin. Believers in the community as well as foreigners in the area continue to visit and offer their prayers. My visit to Gubin was really meaningful. I am happy to have witnessed the area, even for a short time. I am happy to share with all of you the appearance of the city and their proud treasures as part of their history. I hope that you like this video. Until my next travel, cheers!